In order for a terrorist attack to take place, it's likely that at some point explosives or chemical agents will need to be moved. That's why it's so important that countries can secure all of their borders. Here in Croatia, they lie at the crossroads of several illicit trafficking routes. So securing this border was going to require a creative approach. And at the Ruda Boscovic Institute in Zagreb, they thought they'd come up with the answer, using nuclear physics to see inside closed containers. Scientists from the Institute received funding from NATO's Science for Peace and Security project to conduct the initial research and, here in the underground nuclear laboratory, they proved that such science was possible. NATO has uh, been a key uh, player in our research, providing us with the essential components uh, which we use to build uh, our prototypes and to test uh, the principles. You know, the physics is known. I mean, we have been doing this type of physics for many years, actually. I got my PhD thesis uh, on the same type of physics. So when we receive a NATO grant, uh, uh, we were able to buy the components, uh, test uh, our ideas uh, and uh, build up uh, the pilot systems. This is Rijeka, the major seaport of Croatia, giving access to the Adriatic, Mediterranean and beyond. The port allows the whole Balkan region to access global markets, but it's also extremely attractive to gangs dealing in illicit goods. Uh, it is uh, well known that uh, the old ports that are near the border of the European Union are of interest for the smugglers because they are trying to get the container and the goods near the European Union, try to exchange all the papers, all the declare, declarations for the goods and then with, uh, let's say, clean papers go to the European Union. It's here that the principles proved in the lab have been scaled up as part of an EU project to help nations control their borders. This neutron scanner is able to determine the contents of a container without customs officers having to open it up. After being initially examined with an X-ray machine, a suspicious part of the container can now be targeted. The area of interest is bombarded with neutrons. When the neutrons hit the item of interest, they produce gamma rays. These gamma rays can be analysed to show the elements that are present. This allows the scanner to distinguish sugar from cocaine and fertiliser from explosives. Before, the custom, custom job is uh, to open the container, then to discharge all goods from the container, to check the containers and the goods, and then stowing again inside in the container. That's very expensive and is necessary a time for that, for doing that. Now the container can be on the lorries uh, and the truck or lorry just pass in front of the equipment. Uh, on the screen, user can see what's happened, what are inside, which kind of the goods, or it's mean, is any uh, dangerous cargo in, in the container. If it is, then it's a normal that uh, this one uh, must be open and see what's really inside. But if the machine, if the screen shows that everything is okay, the container can pass. And even though the scanner is still undergoing calibration, the benefits are already starting to be felt. What we noticed after we start seizing these things that some containers from some companies, they are not coming anymore here in Rijeka and that, that may, they moved in some other ports. So that, that's one of the things that shows us that we are doing a good job. Also we found after trying things uh, with, with neutron generator also a lot of people asked us what's happening, what you can find with this. So also this is good prevention that, that, that the, the smuggling groups are moving out from Croatia, from, out from Rijeka. Now the Institute is taking its research a step further as it attempts to miniaturise the technology and take it under the sea. There are very serious problems in the Adriatic Sea, but also in North Sea. Actually, all the coastal seas of Europe, Asia and the conflicts from the World War II to the uh, new conflicts uh, our uh, sea bottoms uh, are contaminated uh, by different sorts of ammunition. And uh, that represents a serious problem because you have huge amount of explosives and chemical warfare on the bottom of the seas 
and uh, some of it is uh, lying on the bottom for more than 50 years. So the things are starting to corrode. Uh, so we have uh, accidents by fishermen uh, taking that out, uh, uh, eventually uh, getting the poison uh, and uh, so forth. And In this new NATO funded project, the same technology will be used on a mini submarine to investigate all types of foreign objects on the seabed so as to render them harmless to both people and marine life alike. The submarine unit uh, uh, will be able uh, to do many things. Uh, first of all, if there is uh, uh, an object which looks, uh, uh, which has been identified by optical or other means to be uh, a bomb, a torpedo or whatever, uh, a container for explosive, our submarine can come uh, close to it, measure uh, the content of it and identify uh, the material inside. Is it, if it is, uh, is it uh, explosive or chemical warfare or just uh, a junk? Uh. Whether it's examining ammunition on the seabed or looking for contraband passing through a port, the technology initially proved with the help of NATO has used scientific ingenuity to tackle pressing issues. This is David Heathfield in Croatia for NATO Channel.